as you begin to work with the filters, the transitions, the video effects of EDIA 7, you will discover that there are some effects that you will be using over and over again in every edit. And so it just makes good sense to uh, make that into your own customized user preset. For example, in this particular shoot, I used a DSLR camera, a Canon 6D, and according to the recommendations, I set my camera to uh, shoot in the neutral preset, and uh, as a result, all of the footage that uh, I am working with uh, are very dull looking, they, they lack contrast, they lack sharpness, and uh, some chroma. And that is actually a good way to shoot because that allows whoever is working with your footage to uh, color grade it from a neutral position to whatever they need to to match their project, uh, the other media in their project. And it also allows you the opportunity to use perhaps better sharpness tools, better contrast tools, better chroma than what would be packaged in the Canon software itself. So depending on the type of software you're using to edit your videos, you might actually end up with a better result than having just the camera manufacturer uh, doing that for you. And also, if you're having the camera add your contrast and color and uh, sharpness, that gets baked into your shot. In other words, it's harder to take that away if your editor needs to than it is to add it. Again, every software program is going to handle that in a little different way. And so it's just better to when you're shooting, especially if you're shooting for stock, to shoot using the neutral settings. Well, what you end up with is a, a program that has a lot of dull shots, and so we need to work with those. But rather than uh, add our effects for every clip, it only makes sense to do it once and then create a user preset for that. So, for example, if we wanted to add uh, a little bit of sharpness, let's go up to our video filters and look for sh the sharpness tool and drag that down to our shot. Click on our sharpness and add, oh, I usually go up to about 14, 15. And then we need to add some contrast to the shot. Uh, and probably the best tool to do that would be under color correction tools, go for the YUV curve, drop that on, and then click on that. Okay, and then uh, to add some contrast, let's just go down to the very bottom of our Y curve here and uh, just pull that back a little bit. We might come up on the whites a little bit and then just uh, come in to the very center part there and uh, bring in some more detail in the, in the center range of our shot, the shadows. And then when you've got it looking fairly good there, we should probably just add a little bit of saturation to the shot as well. And we can do that again with a color correction tool. Let's maybe do it with the color balance tool. And just, just a touch, maybe one or two points of chroma. And uh, that's looking a lot better. Okay, but now instead of doing this to every clip that we shot on our shoot, you know, that would take a long time. It's a lot better to make a user preset with all of these three filters. So let's, uh, using our shift key, select all of them and then right click and save as current user preset. Now at first glance, it might seem like nothing happened, but when we click back to our effect palette, we'll see that a new filter is showing up in our color correction folder. Right now it's called sharpness plus YUV curve plus color balance. So we could probably uh, rename that, just uh, right click on it and choose change name. And let's call it 6D pop, and let's maybe call it pop one because we might want to create several presets that we can use depending on you know where the clip is at as we look at it. Okay, so now as we go to 
uh, some of the other shots from our shoot. We can just drag and drop that filter right on and it applies it. Notice what happens when we drop it on the clip. Edius does bring us back to the information palette and shows us our three filters so that we could still go in and individually make adjustments to any one of the filters as we think we might need to. We could open up the YUV curve if, if a shot has just uh, been shot a little hotter. You know, we could make some fine tune adjustments there. And if it looks like this one just has a little bit too much chroma, we could open up our uh, color balance and back off on the chroma on that. Okay, so you get the idea of how you can create your own user presets. Now, just one more point on this. If you have a group of clips that you know are coming from the same camera that need basically the same effect, you can lasso all of those clips. Uh, just point to the area right above your video clips, your media clips, and drag down with your mouse, you know, hold your left mouse down, drag down with your mouse, and then start sliding your mouse to the right. And that just selects a wide grouping of clips. And then you can go to your effect palette, go to your user preset that you just created, and drag and drop that on any one of those clips. And Edius will apply that filter to your whole group of clips. And now as you go in, we'll see that uh, every one of those has the new filter applied. As we click on one and go to the information palette, we see that we have now applied our wonderful preset filter all in one sweep. So it's a real time-saving device to have this user preset defined that you know that you're going to need to use over and over again. All right, well, I believe that that does it for creating custom presets of Edius filters.